main reasons of uh, development and progress of China, he rightly said that quality of leadership and then the continuity of uh, policies and then their uh, neutrality in foreign policy. And of course, I have, uh, I have been visiting China since 12th November 72, last 52 years. And uh, I also witnessed their uh, consensus making, their building of consensus. Uh, yeah, collectively, they make decisions. Their, their communist party, of course, they make decisions with a huge number of uh, members with them. China is a real example of uh, development. China is an example, I, not anywhere, I, I, I have not learned in the history that uh, such fast development that uh, about 600 to 800 million people came out of poverty, this is their vision. I feel that Gavadar has a potential, that airport has a potential, not only for the international flights, but also our domestic um, uh, flights. Companies of uh, Dubai and uh, Abu Dhabi and the uh, companies uh, from, um, uh, uh, even from Europe, that uh, like uh, Marx Line, that is from Denmark, they are taking more and more interest. The Chinese, of course, have more interest in uh, our ports. And that is one of the big potential of uh, development. Pakistan and China friendship is also becoming more and more crucial. And because we have a long relation, we know each other, we are island friends. And uh, I wish that uh, this uh, friendship develops and we get benefit mutual with mutual understanding and mutual benefit. Uh, we get more and more uh, uh, consultation between our two great countries. China's approach to international relations has long been characterized by a commitment to peace, stability, and mutual respect. Unlike many global powers, China has consistently advocated for the resolution of conflicts through dialogue and diplomacy, rather than through coercion and force. This commitment to peace is deeply rooted in China's foreign policy principles, and it is a cornerstone of China's interactions with other nations, particularly in the Global South. With the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor as a flagship project, is a prime example of how China's vision extends beyond its borders to include the development and prosperity of its partners. For Pakistan, CPEC has been a game changer, bringing much needed infrastructure, energy solutions, and economic opportunities to our country. This initiative underscores China's role as a leader in the Global South, one that is committed to shared prosperity and development. Furthermore, China's engagement with the Global South goes beyond economic cooperation. It includes efforts to address global challenges, such as climate change, health pandemics, and food security as an emerging two ocean power and build a path through CPEC uh, to create the kind of uh, engine of, of infrastructure, technology, and now green uh, sustainable development that we all seek. China's foreign policy is anchored, ladies and gentlemen, in uh, taking as many people along as it can. It has developed agency along the way, which is economic, which is smart, which is what we call soft power. But really, it is the new development model of global power. And it is a different way of projecting power that has appealed to many countries, to uh, entire regions. And of course, it will and has redefined the history uh, and economies and has the potential of redefining the economies of not just the Asia Pacific, but many parts of the world, because it will carry its green and its infrastructure and its energy, its technology and other benefits as it invests and it drives like a jugular vein of investment through those countries. The Jalil Ulkadr Khidmat, which is Chinese Awam, for the whole world, especially for Pakistan, I ان خدمات کو سراتا بھی ہوں اور خراج تحسین پیش کرتا ہوں کہ ان کی قیادت میں چین نے بہت ترقی کی ہے اور چین کی معیشت آسمان کو چھو رہی ہے 
I think Chinese model uh, is distinguishable from those other models because of its uh, importance for the people. This event is not merely a reflection on a pivotal moment in China's political landscape, but also an opportunity for us as a developing nation to draw valuable lessons from China's governance model, particularly its whole process democratic approach. China will continue to provide political, diplomatic, economic, and security support to Pakistan and support it in uh, uh, combating all forms of ter terrorism, maintain, uh, maintaining political stability and sustainable economic development, and jointly promoting uh, regional peace and security. Ladies and gentlemen, we firmly believe that under the leadership of the high-level consensus between our two countries, the two sides will be able to continuously enrich the vivid practice of the China-Pakistan community with a shared future and make new and great contributions to the peaceful development of the region and the world.